the Japanese guys are, are fish lovers. They love fresh fish. And they would pay any price to, to have fresh f fish on a, on a daily basis. So the fishermen would, would go out along the Japanese shores and they would catch these fresh fish. And the Japanese people would, would hog onto these fishes as soon as possible. But things went on and the, the, fishes, the, the fish around the Japanese shores, they, they started depleting. So the fishermen started going deeper into the seas and they would get the fish from there. But the problem was that Japanese loved their fish fresh. So when these fishermen would bring the fish from longer distance, by the time they would come back, the fish would come, they would be a bit stale. So they would not get the prices they would want. So the fishermen thought what to do. So they installed refrigeration systems in their, their, their fishing boats. They made their fish boats bigger. They had their tanks installed there, which had refrigeration units there. And they would catch fish from the deep sea or a score of tanks. But Japanese were smarter guys. They loved their fish fresh, not frozen. So frozen fish fetched a lesser price and people would not accept it. So fishermen again went back and said, kya kare? They said, okay, let's innovate. So when they realized that business is not coming, they started thinking. And they again came with another innovative idea. They said, we will remove the refrigeration unit. We will fill it with water. All the tanks will fill it with water and we'll, pour the, we'll have the fish in the tanks and we'll bring them back. They'll be fresh. So they brought the fish back. But the fish in the tanks, they realized they'd given up to the fate ki ab to pakde gaye. The fish didn't move. They just, you know, played, stayed in one corner. And as a result, they became fat, you know, uh, sluggish, lazy. And the Japanese had one problem. They loved their fish fresh. They didn't like their fish sluggish and lazy. So they stopped buying those fishes. And they said, now what to do? Business is still coming down. And finally, they came with an innovative idea. When they went out in the deep sea fishing and they brought the fish into the tanks, in each tank, they put one shark. One small shark. And as a result of the shark, the fish would move everywhere because they wanted to save the life. Yes, the shark would eat a few fish, but the majority of the fish were slim, trim, fresh. And Japanese love the fish fresh. What I want you to understand from the story is, I think many of us have not put a shark in our lives. We are sluggish. We are a bit complacent. We are a bit more relaxed. We are a bit more happy with what is happening around us. We have somewhere confined ourselves to what the life is giving to us. I want you to push, I want you to put a shark in your life. Yes, it might bite off a few things. You might hurt. It might hurt a lot. You might have pain in the feet. You might have blisters. You might have some physical challenges. This is what shark will take. Shark will bite here, somewhere there. But the shark cannot eat the entire body, that's for sure. So you got to bring in a few sharks. Really, don't bring in the sharks. The complacency will kill you. Your mediocrity will kill you. Excellence will never come.